All right, guys, we're back with another Edison Format Finals at Eclipse Games. Uh, we got Donnell Dean Asty on the left playing Chaos Black Wings versus myself on the right playing Frog Heroes. This is actually back to back finals for me and Donnell, but for Eclipse Games, it's not my main local, so I only filled the top one top four match and one finals match. Because there's a little bit of a glare. And also, we don't get as many people. This was like an 11 man tournament. Usually at, at Epic, we get like. Uh, Usually we get around 17, sometimes 24. That's like the range we get in between there. Yeah, 17 between 24. Sometimes we'll get like 16. Sometimes we'll get 26. It just depends. Anyway, so it looks like I went first. So what happened here? So Donnell, I, it looks like I went Swap into Treeborn and then Rota for Stratos. And Donnell went Bora Whirlwind. So not the D-Nasty special, but still he opened Whirlwind. So he's off to a good start. So he special summons the Gale. And Synchro's first. Oh, yeah, Donnell plays Urbellum. So even if I drop Gores, he has... Oh, I have Battle Fader. <laughs> you see, I slammed down the Battle Fader so he wouldn't skip my draw phase. So now I have Stratos. So I can Stratos and... I have Ocean and Swap. Okay, so let's see how this turn goes. I've been alternating between Vayu Turbo and Frogs. They're my two favorite decks. So I'm trying to see which one I prefer. They're, I, I think they're the top two decks in Edison. That's just my opinion. Some people would disagree. Some people probably put Black Wings up there. But I've never been... Not that I don't like Black Wings. It's just... When I, when I play Black Wings and I don't see Whirlwind, I feel the deck's not as consistent as the other two. Okay, so here I go Swap and Defense... Discard the second Treeborn from my hand. Send down a Swap Frog. Okay. So I search Malicious Edge. So probably I already have the Ocean in my hand. So Swap, Bounce, Swap. What's my hand? Okay, so I keep the Swap up. So I, I guess I'm debating between Bouncing the Swap and the Stratos. So I kind of don't want to leave the Swap up. Because he can hit it with Shura. All right, now I set one. So I must not have Miracle or a Monarch. That's really unfortunate. So here comes Dono with the Jar of Greed instead of Yada Garasu. I don't know. Yada's just better. You, your opponent, especially against Frogs, they might side in. Yeah, they might side in the Dark Dispirit against you. Okay, so it looks like... I, I wonder what my back row is, because I can't stop the Shura Whirlwind combo. So, the D-Nasty special. I'm guessing my back row... It's not Torrential. It must be Mirror Force set. Because I can Mirror Force his Shura and his Urban. It could be Wing Blast as well. Let's see. I guess we're going to find out what it is. This is the fourth time Donald and I have played in the finals. Oh, here comes Heavy. That's not good. So it was Wing Blast. Okay. So Wing Blast, discard Prodigy. And what are we going to bounce back here? It's either the Shura or the Urbellum. Okay, so I chose the Urbellum because with Shura, he can't... Oh, I guess he's going to have to waste his Kalut. If he wants to run over my Straddle, he's going to have to waste his Kalut. If he attacks over my Battle Fader, he won't get Shura's effect because it's, it's not going to be sent to the graveyard. So, yeah, he's going to have to burn his Kalut, which is okay. At least I get the Kalut out of the way. So, now we're at 66 to 8,000, and Donnell's going to trigger Shura. So, you saw the previous turn. I was debating on either A, leaving the Swap on the field, or the Stratos. And now Donnell wipes my field. Because I also have to remember, I don't want to get hit with Urbellum. Because if I get hit with Urbellum... Yeah, if he hits me with Urbellum, then I'm basically skipping my draw phase. And I remember my hand was kind of bad. So, yeah. Also, at the time, I didn't know Donnell had Shuro because he summoned Bora first turn. Yeah, he went Bora Whirlwind. All right. So, now let's see. Come on, Caius. <laughs> Especially now that Donnell heavied himself. I think Donnell read I had Mirror Force 2, not the Wing Blast. <laughs> okay, so here comes Treeborn. Come on, Caius. No. Well, we knew I had this one. 
And you know my other card, one of my other cards in my hand is Swap Frog. Okay, Special Summon Swap Frog, Discarding Dupe. So yeah, these are one of the hands that I don't like in Frogs. Just, I drew too many Weenies. I always say that. Too many, like, Swaps, too many Treeborns, and he had the Icarus. So here I didn't play around Icarus. I probably should have just attacked, but I got a little bit greedy. Honestly, what's crazy is I need more practice against Black Wings. I, I think, which sounds crazy, but a lot of people in my local stopped playing Black Wings for some reason, like months ago. So I'm a little bit rusty against this deck. It's something I've noticed recently. So yeah, I need to get some testing in with against that deck. Because every one of my locals is playing Bayou and now Frogs. And there's plenty of Amaryllis players and GBs, Light Swarns now, Christia Sworn. But yeah, people just don't like Black Wings. I don't know why. Okay, so now it looks like I set one. Let's see how they are. I probably... I mean, you can see my hand. My hand was not good. I, I haven't seen a single Caius, a single Ryza, or a single Miracle Fusion. Okay, so he Rikos pops my dupe. So yeah, I opened double dupe. So Ryko, Blizzard, Ryko, and I scoop. Why did I scoop? I don't know why I scooped. Oh, I messed up the life points. I think I was the one at 48. So anyway, game two. I think maybe Donnell said he had Dark Arm or something. Anyway, 8,000, 8,000. So I went first, game two. Set a back row, set a monster. Oh my God, sure a whirlwind again. Come on, please stop. Okay, so I have the out this time. <laughs> okay, so stop. Which one, the sure or the whirlwind? So it looks like I chose the Whirlwind, not the Shura. And now what will Donnell do? Attacks, and then he's going to collude over my dupe. So Chain Link. They're both optional, right? So yeah, Donnell's supposed to special first. Yeah, John's right there is reading it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... They're both optional. First turn player, chain link one. Actually, yeah, that might be right. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think Donnell is chain link one. I'm chain link two since it's optional. Okay, so Donnell is going to get out either Gale or Bayou. So he chooses Gale, hits me for 13. Yeah, hits me for 13, so we're at 67, 8,000. Oh, so Donnell finally beat me one game in the finals. So this is what our – we've played in the finals three times. This is our fourth time playing in the finals on the channel. And Donnell finally beat me a game. The previous three times, I 2 would him all three times. So congrats to him at least getting one game. But I don't think I've ever played him. The, the previous three times I've played him in the finals, he used Amaryllis. GBs, and I played him in the finals on the channel in Tengu format. So this is the first time I faced his Black Wings in the finals. Okay, so here comes Swap. What does Donnell have? Maybe uh, pulling the rug. I know Donnell loves... See, I feel like I'm a bit rusty against Black Wings versus Donnell has plenty of experience against Frogs. Thanks to shout out to Ryan Knight at our local because he's been playing Frogs forever. So everyone is kind of like familiar with the deck. Thanks to Ryan. Versus, like, the only Blackwing players at my locals are, like, Donnell and Prince. But Prince is, like, on and off. Sometimes he plays Zombies. Sometimes he plays Vayu. Same thing with Donnell. Sometimes he plays GBs. Sometimes he plays Amaryllis. So that's why I feel like the only time I ever get to play against Blackwings is if John plays it. But then he, again, like Prince and Donnell, sometimes plays different decks. Like, we don't have a consistent Blackwing player at our locals. And I think it's kind of hurting me a bit. Because I don't play, again, I don't play online, so... Yeah, I can definitely feel it. I'm a bit rusty against Black Wings. Anyways, here I'm going to Wing Blast and hit that one. I think I have Storm, or there's there's a reason why I Wing Blasted him here, so we'll, we'll see. Okay. So I remember. I think the reason I Wing Blasted him was because I was trying to snipe his Solemn. If he has it, if he has a Solemn, 
So I was reading like oppression. So you see it here, I held the dust tornado. So my goal was I was trying to hit the solemn because I didn't want I didn't want to go like miracle. He oppresses, I chain dust, and he solemns me. And that was the that was the game plan there. Cause I, I lose to oppression. So that's why I I wing blast him, tried to hit the solemn. And then I dust his iron wall. Which iron wall oppression, same thing. I was expecting oppression, not iron wall. And like, if you can see, I only got like two cards in my hand, so that, like, oppression would have destroyed me. Like, I needed this miracle to go through. It's the only way, like, I have a fighting chance. And I know Donnell's drawing into, I know Donnell's drawing into a trap card, so he's not drawn into Kalut. So here comes Swap Frog. I don't think he has Icarus. Would he have Icarus me at the end phase, the previous turn? I think he would have. So there's really no reason to summon the swap here. Maybe I'm just trying to slim down the deck. Oh no, Donald has one card, so maybe I'm a little afraid of Kalut. Yes, because then I can attack over his Gale and he can't Kalut me. I got one card in my hand. Like, this zero has to get me to the victory because my hand is not very good. All I have going for me is this Ab Zero. All right, so we attack Gale. So he can't just collude over my zero here. So he deprints my ab zero. Then I'm going to use the effect and wipe his board. And now I can hit him for 1,000. So yeah, I poke him for 1,000. And now we're at 8,000 to 36. So now Donald's got a second back row. Yeah, 8,036. What's his last card? Oh, it's Dark Arm. So he hits me for 28. Now I'm at 800. And draw. I think I top decked the Miracle, so that D prison really hurt. Yeah, I remember I drew into Miracle for my turn. Now I set two. What's going to happen here? Yeah, I'm almost positive I drew into, into Miracle for my turn. And I think I set I think I set the miracle as a bluff. So Dono has to decide here what, what he's gonna do with Dark Arm. Is he afraid of Regeki Break? So he probably thinks I have a Regeki Break or a Wing Blast set. So he's gonna maybe pop my set or he's gonna go for the back row. Let's see what he decides to do. So he hits my bluffed miracle, which is dead because he deprints in my ab zero. And then now Dark Arm pop my set treeborn, pop my other treeborn, and unless I have Battle Fader, this is game. So yeah, Donald attacked me for a game. So look at my hand. My hand was just not very good. And that's the card I wing blast was his Starlight Road. So had I not wing blasted the road, he could have like deprisoned my Ab Zero, then activate chain activated Starlight Road. And he had Rug too. Yeah, that was just unfortunate. I'm pretty sure I didn't have the miracle and I drew into it. So maybe we could argue I could have maybe not attacked him. That was another choice. But he was gonna deal with my zero if I didn't attack him. So congrats, to Donnell. Two owes me in the finals. Um, gets his seventh win on the channel, so he's trying right now. Him and John are fighting for that third. Whoever ha who has the third most spots in the win now, Donnell's one. So John has eight versus Donnell has seven. So we'll see if Donnell can catch up to John. Hope you guys enjoyed that finals, and we'll be back soon for another tournament. Bye, guys.